going on YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor, and today we're going to be continuing on with our compare instruction videos. So this is video two of our compare instructions. More particularly, today we're going to be looking at our compare function and our limit function. So what I've got here is I've got a program up using our emulate software. In rung zero, I basically got a 10 second timer that's going to recycle and run on itself all the time. What I'm going to do is show you how I can light these lights up at different intervals. And so one thing that you can use this a lot is with alarms. You can have alarms to be set up for different intervals and uh, to come on at different points within your program if you're looking at, let's say, an analog signal, for instance. So to do that, let's first start with our limit instruction. Let's say that I want to turn this light on whenever my accumulator is between two and three seconds. Notice that we have different variables than we have for, let's say, a less than instruction that we looked at last video. And this is true for our equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to instructions. You have source A or source B. And we looked at how to look at different accumulator values, compare that to different sources, whether that be a real number or another accumulator value or another source, to turn on or off the output of our compare instructions. For our limited functions, we have a low limit, we have a high limit, and then we have a test. And so for this limit instruction, the test is going to be our accumulator value. It's what we're looking at. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose T1 accumulator value dot ACC here. And I'm going to set my limits. So if I want this light to come on when this accumulator values is between two seconds and three seconds, I'm just going to simply enter my low limit as 2000 for two seconds and my high limit as 3000 for my high limit. Let's say I want to turn this light on when it gets between three and four seconds. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is to pull this tag down because I'm still looking at the same accumulator value, but now I'm going to enter between 3000 and 4000. So let's do our last light. Let's say that we want this to come on when it's between eight and 9000. I pull my tag down, I choose 8,000 for my low limit and 10,000 for my high limit. All right, now I'm just going to create new tags for my outputs. So I'm going to say this is light one, and then I'll say this is light two, and then finally light three. So let's download this. Now I'm going to go to run mode, and when I do, watch these accumulator values increment up. And I'm not going to look at my output for my virtual module because you can see the lights come on here. So here we go. Here's run mode. Accumulator value goes up. Light one comes on. Light two is on. And then we're going to wait till it gets to 8,000, light three comes on. And then again, this recycles, light one, light two, then light three. So that's the way that limit instructions work. Now I want to show you one thing that's interesting. I can take this limit and I can make my low limit 3,000 and my high limit 2,000 very interesting thing happens when I do that. Now watch what happens to this light now. Notice that it's really a not equal to. When I set my high limit for the low limit and my high limit on my instructions actually smaller, it's going to stay on all the time except for when it's in between those numbers. So watch, it'll go off here now when it's in between two and three thousand but it stays on the entire time outside of that so keep that in mind that even though you have a low limit you can actually invert those and it becomes a not equal to limit so it's going to come on whenever this value is not equal to this and only go off when it's in between this limit one thing that is used a lot is compare and actually in my opinion compare 
functions or instructions are used more than they should be. And I'll explain why. So let's look at our compare function here. And let's just turn on our same light that we had before, light one. The idea behind these compare instructions is that you can enter in a complex formula inside of this instruction to have it do complex things that normally you could not do with your normal compare functions. And so it gives some flexibility. The problem is with these is when you go into a program, a lot of times people love these compare instructions and they'll have 10 of these in a row and they can be doing the things that, that these predefined instructions could be doing. And it makes it a little confusing because you have to actually look into the formula to figure out what the programmer is doing. So I don't like using compare instructions. And I don't suggest using those unless you have a complex situation where you need those. Well, let's look at how to actually use these. And so these compare instructions, if you click on your question mark where your tag would normally be, double click, you get this box. Well, this is where you enter in your formula that you want to do. So let's say that when this accumulator is greater than 5,000, I want to turn on this light, for instance. And again, we could do that with a greater than, but I'm just showing you this as an example. We have two options. We can browse tags or we can create a new tag with these little tag icons here. We're going to browse tags because we're going to use our T1 accumulator just like we did before. And so we come down and we choose T1 accumulator value. And notice that's in red. And we're going to say whenever that is greater than 5,000, we want to turn this on. So at this point, we just click to the right. And then you notice my error goes away. And I'm going to download this. And we're going to watch how this compare instruction works. OK, so let's change this back to remote mode and watch this work. You notice it does not show the accumulator value, but you can see that it is working. It's another reason I don't really like these compare instructions unless you just have to use them. But again, it is working. You can see that we're looking at t1.acc here. And when it's greater than 5,000, it turns our light on. OK, so that is the rest of our compare functions or compare instructions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And I hope you have a great day.